On a nice October morning, a woman in her 30s scrolled through the websites of her usual online retailers as she sipped her morning coffee. Even though she had promised herself to be more careful about money, something came over her, and she needed to have it at that moment, a new designer handbag. It was easy for her to convince herself the bag would fulfill a need she knew she had. It would be an investment. She would sell it later on if she needed the money. Her hands were shaking with adrenaline as she entered her credit card information. Would this be the first or the last time she persuaded herself owning a bag would validate her as a person? No, of course not. The obsessive search for the perfect handbag is an unending venture. At first I thought it just looked good, but it's practical too, check it out. I don't wanna sound like I'm making fun of or insulting people with handbag addiction. It wasn't too long ago, I was convincing myself a new bag was just what I needed. It was only after a while I realized I was draining my bank accounts that I could stop my obsession and turn towards a minimalistic approach to luxury and fashion. So my main goal is to help people understand if they're going through a similar issue and learn the reasons why. Why are some people, especially women, obsessed with designer handbags? And what are the consequences of not stopping this problem? Let's look into it together. Unsurprisingly, a handbag is a status symbol, much like a watch, car, or house. And this is not a recent development either. Even in ancient civilizations, a bag or a purse was not just a practical accessory. It was an important symbol of social status and wealth because the more your bag was intricately designed and made with luxury materials, the higher you belonged on the social ladder. Fast forward to the 20th century to the birth of the ultimate status symbol handbag, the Hermes Birkin. The bag's hefty price tag cemented its position as the epitome of luxury and a symbol of social status. We should not be surprised that people tend to make assumptions based on appearance. Let's say you wear a fancy bag but the blandest outfit. You could even be wearing your sweats. It doesn't matter, the bag says it all. That's why people spend the money they don't have on the most expensive handbags. Some even buy fake ones, hoping no one would notice they're not only faking a luxury purchase, but also their real social standing. FOMO is a psychological phenomenon that makes you scared of pushing opportunities aside and missing out. You may see many people around you buying and enjoying a specific brand, and that can make you feel like you should also have the same experience because being faced with a missed opportunity would overwhelm the hell out of you. That aspiration to always own the latest designs and brands is rooted in the fear of missing out. But buying that Louis Vuitton tote bag can ensure you are connected to and engaged with other members of society. Now, I'll talk about something you must have experienced. You don't care about the bag, you care about the hunt. You enjoy spending hours and hours looking at different sites, searching for the perfect handbag. You love ordering it and waiting for it for days if necessary. But right after you receive it, you immediately start the hunt for the next one. It's not the end result that gives you satisfaction. The bag can remain in your closet for years without seeing any daylight. It's the search, the process of looking for the right bag that makes you wanna do it all over again. Honestly, there's definitely a dopamine hit when you make any purchase you're excited about. You may even experience a letdown when the item arrives, forcing you to desire that dopamine again. People do this with different things. It could be music boxes or shoes. The exercise could make you happy, but you may wanna move on to something else after it's over. I talked about the potential reasons for handbag addiction, but what are the consequences that you might have been ignoring? Well, the first one is, of course, the financial side of things. The internet is full of stories of people who drain their savings to buy stuff they don't need. So you might as well lose all your money. Where is the money? In all honesty, if you start to feel like your handbag purchases make you unable to buy the necessary stuff to have a decent life, then you definitely have a problem. But the money problem is only one side of the issue. Having a handbag addiction, just like any kind of addiction one person may have, can cause problems between you and the people around you. If you're married and have a family, your luxury purchases also concern your partner. When your partner finds out you can easily buy a Chanel bag for $10,000 instead of paying your mortgage, this can quickly drive a wedge between you. Ultimately, the most important thing is to realize and admit if you have a problem and try to treat it as any other type of addiction. Some reports liken handbag addiction to pathological gambling addiction, and I do believe there's some truth to that. Also, why should having a handbag collection be different than a guy buying cars? Focusing on one while overlooking the other makes or breaks a misogynist. But since this is a channel focusing on fashion and luxury, I hope you understand why I precisely wanted to talk about handbag addiction. What are your thoughts on the subject? 
Are you addicted to shopping or buying handbags? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to My Perspectives for more videos like this. See you soon.